Hello Vikings, today we're going to talk about gems. I know that this video is very late, but I'm hoping to be able to still help some of you, and I hope it's not too confusing, um, and that it makes some kind of sense. So, the new gems, or they're not really new anymore, but the gems, um, to make celestial or level 3 gems, you need your workshop at level 40. The, you are able to make level 2 gems at level 38 and level 1 gems at 36. I'm, I'm gonna talk mostly about level 40. This is a great milestone for all of you guys that aren't level 40 yet to work towards because the gems that you make at level 40 give you a pretty significant bonus. We can check for my shaman here for example. The main thing you can do at level 40 to help your clan is the celestial gems celestial opal rhodonite and spinal and as you see one of those gems gives pretty decent bonuses so for everyone out there that's working uh, to build your account to be better and stronger i would recommend to save up for all of your celestial gems so you can make enough in general you would want um, three of each in each of your item of your rain the wanderer and for your urbaset pop set is for me called but you will want the same here this makes your account very strong in fortress battles which is the most used battle for almost every clans i will show you a list in a little bit here for what gems you need in order to make all of the celestials that you need and that's the same for all troop types, it doesn't matter. And I'm also going to show you some lists on the different gems. For example, if you're melee or ranged or cab player, what it takes to make one out of each gem. I'm not saying that's that what you should use, but it's not a bad setup. And what I mean about that is if you're a melee player, for example, you would want to have one melee gem level 3, or level 2 if you can't make them level 3, and then one melee defense and one melee health. There's different combinations that you can do. Maybe you want defense, defense, health, or offense, offense, health, whatever you, whatever your heart desires. That's things that you have to find out yourself what you like the best. But I'll, I just think I'll show you simple what you need so you know what gems you are able to use and which ones you can use without ruining for yourself on your future celestials if you're not level 40, for example. Maybe you should not make level 2 melee gems, for example. Um, so I'm going to show you pictures of that pretty much here right now. So let's start off with the Celestials. So as you can see, this is what you need for one out of each, each Celestial gem. So you see there's quite a lot of different gems that you need in order to make one. Remember that. And what it means when it says uh, level 2, for example, here on the top, Opal level 2. That means that you need to make an opal, leg a legendary opal into level 1 and then take that one to level 2. And then you have need to make an, a gate level 1. So that's taking a regular legendary gate into level 1. And that's what you need for each celestial opal. That's why it takes so many different gems in order to make one single celestial opal. And for the next picture, I have added all of them together for what you need uh, on a list here. Hopefully it's big enough for you to see. Please feel free to take screenshots or pause the video and write down yourself or take notes of what you need or what you're short of for the future. Especially if you're not level 40 yet, you want to make sure to try and have this following list here uh, saved up for gems until you reach 40. That way you can make all of those gems right away. And it will be a huge strength bonus for you and your clan. So that's what you need for Celestial Gems. I'm going to show you following picture now for each troop type. And remember, this is for... We start off with melee, so I can show a perfect example here. So this is for 12 of each melee offense, melee health, and melee defense. As I said it previously, might not be the way you want to play. Maybe you want more defense or more offense spaced up, but... This is just showing what you need. And this is so 12 of each gem. So it's for both your hero and shaman. And this is just a list. And I'm saying I'm not going to go through and 
talk about every little gem here, but feel free to take screenshots and and I hope it helps you. And compare it to the celestial ones so you know what you can make and what you not can make. So that's the melee. And then we have the cav gems. And I'm just gonna go through those, so please pause the video, take a screenshot. And then we go to ranged. And then we have killers. And then we have siege. And here in the end we have scouts. So that's all gems that you need in order to make everything. I have not taken in account what you can make for if you're level 38 or 39 without without uh, interrupting with your future celestial gems if you're a lower level. But I did look pr briefly over it. So if you're, for example, level 38, which I think many of you out there are, if you're level 36, you can make all of your gems that you want to to level 1 of your specific troop type because I don't think any of the level 1s interfere with the Celestials apart from the common gems, if you want to call them common. And what I mean about common gems, I'm going to show you in a second, but it's basically what you get from premium tasks. Um, so this following list here is what I believe you can make for each troop type without interfering too much for the future celestial making. So as you see, there's for killer, and what this means, for example, with the top here, killer, offense level two, health level two, and defense level two, that's all the killer gems. Same for cavalry, melee, siege, ranged, and scouts. So this is what you should be able to make if you're level 38. The reason why it's not all of them are level 2 is because they most likely would interfere with your future celestial making. So I hope this helps and save your gems up towards your level 40. So I did mention common gems earlier in the video. And what I mean about that is if you just look down here, I think it's the same interface on phone that the celestials are on the top. But if you just go down from the Celestials, everything from here, the Rodondite, all the way down until you reach the Invader specific gems. Let's see here, the Tafit, it's the first one. So from Emerald all the way up to Rodonite is gems that you get both from Invaders, but primarily from doing premium task refreshers. So if you have a lot of premium task refreshers, just click as many of those as you can and you should get a lot of gems. So those should never really be a big problem if you're a spender to the game. Um, so uh, in the future looking for bank offers, it's you should also look if the offers have some of the premium tasks. Because you have to remember it's only premium tasks that drops those. But you can get uh, a lot of them. And this is also a very good way to get precious dust to your clan's stronghold if you need it. I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching this video. I'm so sorry it's been very long since my last upload. I know, as I'm sure most of you guys understand, real life can come in the way sometimes. It's just been a rough time recently. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe it if you did and more videos will come. If you have any suggestions or any questions about anything, please leave a comment down below and I'll make sure that I reply to it. Once again, thank you very much for watching the video.